You may have heard that ICBC is in financial trouble. It is, and it's serious. ICBC is on track to lose $1.3 billion this year. In early February, our government announced reforms aimed at saving ICBC a billion dollars a year, changes that will reduce legal expenses and use those savings to get ICBC back on its feet and dramatically improve accident benefits for those hurt in crashes. These benefits have not been increased in 25 years. We want to ensure that those who are injured in crashes have access to the care they need, and we want our public insurer to deliver affordable insurance rates for BC families. But there's more we can do, and we will. Car insurance rates in our province aren't fair. Low-risk drivers with perfect records are paying more than they should. Meanwhile, high-risk drivers who are driving costs up for everyone aren't paying enough. We want to fix this problem. We'll do this by making changes to the current auto insurance rating system. Changes that will hold all drivers more accountable for their decisions and their driving behavior. This means that low-risk drivers will be rewarded by paying less, and high-risk drivers will help offset the costs they're increasing by paying more. We'd like your thoughts on these changes. We have questions about how ICBC should use accident claims or driver experience in determining how much someone should pay for basic insurance. How much things like speeding tickets or other driving convictions should influence insurance costs, both optional and basic. How much of a discount low-risk drivers should enjoy and how much of an additional premium high-risk drivers should pay. And how insurance pricing should be set to reflect risk due to where in the province you're driving or how often you're driving. I hope you'll take some time to learn about these changes and then let us know what you think by taking part in this important survey. Your feedback will help us keep life affordable for British Columbians.